Hi, this is Gogget, and it's time for story time with Scoggit. Today's story is entitled, Where's My Train? And before I uh, tell the story like I do in every uh, uh, video, story time video, we gotta crack ourselves open a, a Lone Star Ice Cold Lone Star, and then we can get started with the story. This story is call, called, Where's My Train? Back uh, when I was a, a little boy, back a, a long time ago, uh, it was like in the early 1960s. Uh, the cereal boxes, you get a box of cereal, and sometimes it would have a prize in it. And, uh, whenever me and my brother went to the, uh, store, uh, shopping with my mom, we'd look at, uh, the cereal boxes to see which box would have the best prize. Uh, we might not like the cereal at all. Well, we ended up eating it, but we got the prize. And uh, I remember uh, getting uh, home, and the first thing we did was grab that cereal box, either me or my brother, and open it up and put our arm down, because usually it's at the bottom. We put our arm down in there, start fishing around for that prize, and whenever we got it, we'd pull it out. We'd, uh, we'd, like I say, we'd have to eat the cereal, and sometimes it wasn't the one what we wanted, but we did get that prize. This is uh, somewhat they used to do, and they used to put some pretty decent prizes in the cereal boxes. Now, other than that, there was uh, cereal boxes what had uh, a prize you could get free, but you would have to send in so many cereal box tops. And I remember there was a train and it, it looked really cool. It was a toy train. It was made of plastic. And it just was uh, just a really cool looking on the back of the cereal box. And we used to sit there and eat, eat the cereal and read the back of the box and everything and, and read about the toy and uh, toys or whatever it uh, pertained to. But there was one train uh, which was, it was just, it stood out. And I wanted that train so bad. And I think it was you collected three, uh, three to four box tops and then you send it to this address and they would send you the, the train. And uh, it wasn't like, it was just the locomotive part. It wasn't the whole train. So it was just the locomotive part. And it was just, uh, just really nice. It was uh, detailed and just looked really nice. And uh, I wanted that so bad that uh, every week I'd buy that same cereal or have my mom buy that same cereal so I could get that, the, get that train. And there was nothing inside that box. So I was passing up a bunch of other good uh, prizes or uh, what was in the cereal boxes because I wanted that uh, train. And uh, I remember finally uh, we... My mom bought, bought the cereal and we uh, obtained enough uh, box tops to send in. And my grandmother, my grandmother uh, put the box tops in the envelope. And of course you put your name and address, everything on, on the little uh, deal what was on the back. It had like a name and address. Uh, she put a five cent stamp on it and sent it through the mail. And I'm like, uh, went out there with her. I remember walking out there with her. And we opened the mailbox. And she put the uh, letter in the mailbox and we shut it. And walked back inside the house. Well, that was in the morning. I went to school that day and came back. And the first thing I said, has it came yet? And here it hasn't even left. 
And my grandmother, I remember her laughing and said, well, it hasn't even left yet. The mailman hasn't even come by and picked it up. So finally, uh, well, I went out to the mailbox and looked, and sure enough, it was there. And uh, I waited the next day, went to school, came, uh, came back home and said, did it come yet? My grandmother said, no, it didn't come yet. And this went on for about uh, two months. Uh, two months later, I got this package through the mail, and it was from that cereal company. And uh, I remember my grandmother uh, keeping it for me, and I ran in there and came home from school, and I said, did it come yet? She said, well, you got a package here. I don't know what it is. And she gave me that package. And I just, like, looked at it, and I was like, uh, it was about like this big. And I was like, I think this is it. And uh, so she helped me open it. And well, I, no, I opened it myself. I was like tearing the, pay, uh, tearing the box open and everything. And I ripped that box open and I remember there was my train. And the train was plastic and it was about this, this long and about that high. It was a big train. And it didn't do anything special. It, it was just a, a black plastic train. It didn't do anything special. No gizmos. It had uh, some uh, uh, wheels on it. And you could just push it around kind of like a, a car. I mean like a little a Hot Wheels car. And I got it and I thought that was just uh, the best thing in the world. That hey, I finally got my train and all. Man, I had so much fun with that. And it was just, uh, didn't do anything. It was just a piece of plastic what, you know, was in the shape of a train. And, and I, I played with that. I remember playing with that and playing with that. And it's just a fond memory of just uh, the good times and anticipation of waiting on something to come through the mail. It was like uh, just excitement of every day. Uh, is it going to come today? And I'd be at school saying, oh, I hope it comes today, and, you know, and and everything like that. It's not like that nowadays. Nowadays, cereal boxes, I, I don't think they have anything what you can send for. You you got a little code back on, on the back of the box or something where you get on your computer and you type it in and see if you get some kind of stupid prize. Uh, it just, it's not like it was back back when I was a kid. Um, and that really ruins it for, for all the kids. I mean, it's like, uh, nowadays if you order something, uh, I remember if you ordered something back in, in time when I was a kid, you had to send that through the mail. You had to fill out that paper, put it in the envelope, send it, and wait anywhere from six to eight weeks to get it. Nowadays it's there overnight. And it's like, you, you order it online, and boom, it's there the next day. And uh, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's not. I'm just uh, uh, just saying that, uh, you know, as a kid, it's, uh, for me, it was just uh, the thrill of waiting, of the anticipation of how is it going to look and everything. And it's like every day you're, you're waiting on that to come, and finally it gets there, and it's just a uh, uh, joyful occasion. And uh, there's a lot of happiness there. But uh, it's not like that now, and times change. But I'm glad I grew up when I did because I enjoyed them moments. This is Story Time with Scoggin. I uh, hope you uh, like this uh, story. Uh, it's a true story of, uh, you know, things what happened in my life, what I remember. And I like to share them with you. So this is Scoggin, and I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. And y'all take care.